Hey everyone, I have a video that I have coming up in a little bit that's absolutely amazing. Uh, but I'm going to kind of release this one first before I do anything. Uh, this is the Alation Medicon, which it controls the Alation Compu Shell. Uh, this is a QW5 with some you know pre-made programs. You can see I'm kind of switching them out. Right now it's at channel 161. But let's say I get a while here up my butt and I want to change the DMX channel, right? Or if, you know, I got rid of maybe an, uh, another flood and I want to bump this one up, you know, or whatever. Okay, usually it sucks. If you want to change DMX channels to clean things up, you can't. You can't transfer old shows. Well, with this one, this is basically a patch-based software. Rather than having these scenes call cues by the DMX number, what it does is it tells the software, for example here, to address this patch here. And this patch uh, does a, you know, uh, the DMX addressing from there. So if I change something, it's not going to screw up the whole show. Let me show you how that works real quick. I'm going to look for my mouse first. Here we go. I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to patch. And again, this gives me some basic DMX info. If I click right here, this little guy, it's going to show me my DMX addressing. You'll see the flat part QWH. I'm going to go ahead and move it to channel 15. So it's going to go from 15 to 22. I'm going to click OK. And what that's going to do is it's going to rewrite that patch on here. So any of these shows here don't get affected because these are not, when you make a scene, it's not like normal DMX boards where it starts at a certain DMX channel. It's all like truly patch based. So it's basically saying, OK, here controls this light. And then from this window, it tells this light to start at this DMX channel. So these are not dependent on a DMX channel. So what does that mean? Nothing's happening now. I'm going to go ahead and bring it back down to channel 15. I love how fast this light scrolls. It's kind of nice. Four, three, two, fifteen. 15. And just like that, I can start controlling stuff again. Okay? So you see that. Now that's incredible. Here's why, because the next video is going to show you how to use this feature so you can import somebody else's show. So for example, let's say my friend has a few scenes with the QWH5s. Of course, it has to be the same channel mode. And I'm like, man, I love all your programs. I just don't have the time to make them all. He'll be like, sure, you can have mine. So he's going to send me those scene files. I'm going to drag and drop them in, and then I'm going to repatch them to hit this one. Even if his are like, even if his are 100, channel 161, I just do a couple of clicks and then I'll be able to modify it. Now my version is unsupported, meaning elation or you know does not put this in the instruction manual. There may be some way to do it in the software itself, which I'm going to look for. But meanwhile, this is my way of being able to show people how I can share light shows with somebody else that has the same software. This is going to be great. But right now, this is a quick little tip that with this software, it's not number based, it's patch based. So even if you change something, it's not going to screw up your show. It's going to be amazing. Stay tuned.